Hey everyone, today's video is going to be on how, um, I guess I organize my polished swatches or how to create the, these swatch sticks for your polishes. The cool thing about this is that if you want to wear this, you can just hold it up to your nail. Sorry, I'm filming one-handed and, uh, well, you get the picture, but I'm filming one-handed and, um, I'm not going to edit this video. It's going to just go straight up to my DIY playlist and, um, all you'll need for this is, um, nails. I got the, I got these, the, well, this case from Sally's Beauty, woodsy sticks, which I got from Michael's, a pen, polishes, your polishes, and a glue gun. Okay, so, um, really quickly before I show you guys how I did this, this is what works for me and this is how I'm organizing my polishes. Um, these are all the glitter and special polishes like Crackle and um, this is a different kind of glitter. It's like lines. But um, so I have all my glitter and special polishes here. And then I have like, I guess, boy colors you can call it. The blues, the greens. I have like um, yellows in here and... There's some browns and silvers in there. I don't wear a lot of browns and silvers, um, so I don't have a lot. I just realized that. Blues. And then here are um, the reds, the pinks, the purples, um, the nudes, the, sil oh, the silvers. This is like a French, French, French manicure color. It's not the French tip, but it's like a, like an off-white, like a, not pearl, it doesn't look pearl, but anyways, um, so these are those, and all I did was take a woodsy stick, dabbed a little glue on it, and attached it to the nail, and this is what it looks like. All my polishes, um, all these swatch sticks have two coats of polish. So even if it's still see-through, like this one is really nice from Wet n Wild, uh, 449C. This one is really, really nice. Um, hmm, you guys can't really see it because it's not, <coughs> excuse me, it's not white like, um, like the French tip. It's like a really, it's a nice white that you could actually wear on your, on your nails. I wish the quality on my iPhone was a little better, but I've dropped it like a gazillion times, so I'm just happy it's working. So I'm going to polish this one coat, let it dry, and then come back and polish it another coat. So, um, okay, I'm doing this one-handed, so um, I'm just going to coat this, sorry. I'm talking so you guys know nothing is wrong with this video. I am just putting it down so I can film this and show you guys. Here it goes. Ta-da! So I coated this once. And then I'm going to let it dry. Um, it's up to you. You can... Sorry, this is like the arts and crafts table. It has like paint, polish, crayons all over it. Um, it's up to you. You could do it before or after. Um, usually I'll do the one coat and then I'll write the name like this. This says Wet n Wild WW. This one says Maybelline. J is for Julep. Um, so I'll do one coat, write the name, let it dry a little bit, and do the last coat. Sorry, my sinuses are really acting up. This one I just did before I filmed this, and this one is, um... The new Jula polish I got for April and it's called Mini. It is super cute and super pink. Uh, while I was doing these swatches, I realized that the um, Wet n Wild, well here, here, this is a good example. So this one is uh, Wet n Wild and Julep. You can't even tell which one is which, but this one is the Julep one, the $14 bottle, and this one is the $1.99 bottle. And again, these are two coats, and these two polishes look exactly the same. So had I known that, 
I wouldn't have even bothered getting the julep. I would have just stuck with this Wet n Wild. This one is super pigmented, just like the julep. That's one of my favorite things about the julep, is that um, when I did the first coat on this one, and the same with this one, um, it was very pigmented already, like you didn't really need a second coat, but I just did a second coat because all of my swatches are two coats. So then you can really see, this one's a pretty one. This one's by NYC, 133. And um, while I was doing the swatches, I noticed, because I cover up my polishes always with glitter, like subtle glitter, dramatic glitter, it always has glitter. So I never really got to see that this confetti polish from CVS is very streaky. Like, if you were to wear this alone, it wouldn't be a good idea because it's very streaky. Sorry, you can't even see it. I could see it, but see, it like leaves streaks. It's not smooth, like... Sorry, my sinuses are bad. Um... This is Wet n Wild, and this is black. So this is Wet n Wild, and this is Maybelline. Again, you can't really tell the difference. So I really like Wet n Wild. I love that Wet n Wild, oops. They still have these bottles there. And when you look at them, the, the brush is very thin. These new Wet n Wild bottles the brush is very, okay, hold on, let me, here, the brush is very thick, it's probably not a good idea to put it right there, the brush is very thick, like, the brush is very thick, like this, so I really, I really like that, that the, the brush is um, wider, so it covers a lot more of the nail when you're painting your nails. Clean Color is another one of my favorites. They're, um, the brush is very thick, and they're pigmented too. Here goes Julep. Orly is a favorite of mine, but these two are very pricey. So if you guys were looking for affordable polishes that are very pigmented, I, um, it's just my opinion, I really like um, Wet n Wild. This one's meant wet, Millie. Be careful. Um, and I think that's it. I don't remember where I got this one from, but this one was super, super awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm like, what am I trying to say? This is by Sally Hansen, and I don't remember. I think I was just looking for orange polish, and this is in 04. Um, I was looking for orange polish one day, I was probably going somewhere and I wanted to paint my nails orange, so I found this one, and oh my gosh, this one dried super fast, it says Insta-Dry, and it's super pigmented and went on so fast, like, I need to find more of these polishes, but anyways, um, that's all, really, let me see you, we're back, can you put, go put on your socks, socks and your shoes, sorry, multitasking and um and that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions leave them for me below or you can tweet me i don't know i get messages better that way on twitter um don't forget to follow me on instagram and i think that's it i showed you guys the streaky polish i compared these i compared these this one i'm working on and um so yeah i'm just gonna write the name on here wait like two more minutes and then do the second coat and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um i hope this inspires you to get a little more organized and that's it i'll see you guys in the next video bye